If we go in here, uh, uh, you see what I mean? Thomas is clear. I'm gonna say that Thomas is not an alien, right? Ah, uh, no, 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 son of a- What's up, guys, and welcome back to Aqua Creep. Now, if you guys missed last episode, I will leave a card if you want to go check it out. It does have a bunch of backstory. We get introduced to all of the characters and how things kind of went down here. If you're not interested in that, the gist is we're scientists. There's currently a tropical storm happening right now that's keeping us stuck in our research base at sea. And we're here with a dozen other scientists and one shape-shifting alien butthole worm. Now, that's the issue. We need to find out who's a scientist and who's a butthole worm. And by doing that right now, we need to get blood samples and then look at them under the microscope. So right now we have a sample for Isabel and Trevor here. I think they're both gonna be in the clear. I'm just gonna go out on a limb because they're not currently trying to enter my orifice. We have Dean, that's me, I'm good. Isabel, you are good. And Trevor. You're good. Okay, nothing fishy going on there. So now we need to go ask people and assume that they're not gonna go after us, right? Hey, buddy, Mr. Potato. Oh, Mr. Potato Head Thomas, what Listen, up? There's a test we can do to find out which one of us is really the shapeshifter, but I need to collect a blood sample from everyone to do it. See, if I was a shapeshifter, I'd be like, oh, okay, and you came alone. Bend over. Blood sample? You mean with a needle, right? That gotta be a problem, Tom. No problems, just... Ah, hell. I guess I don't have a choice on this one. If I don't participate, I guess it doesn't point a good indication my way, does it? It really doesn't. But look, Isabel's calling in some high-level specialists who are flying out here right now. It'll all be over soon. Our only concern right now is making sure we single out the creature before they get here. I am concerned if the game is timed or not, because if it's timed and I don't get this done before they show up, are they just gonna kill everybody? There's no way they're gonna show up and like, care enough to work this out with us. So now we have, uh, who is that? Thomas? Thomas is clear. Okay, that's good. I'm happy. I would have been really upset if we lost old Melty Potato Head Thomas. I also only have 12 bullets, which isn't great. Uh, Sean, Sean, how's okay, it going? Sean, here's the story. Since nobody knows which one of us is the monster, I'm going around taking blood samples. Isabel's got a test ready in the lab that can answer our little identity crisis. To that end, I'm gonna need a contribution. My blood? Are, uh, is the test gonna pick up any, uh, any other things? We couldn't figure out in the comments last episode if he's Russian, British, from the southern United States, or now I'm guessing Transylvania, because he's like, my blood, uh. Relax, we're just looking for signs of the creature. Nobody's interested in what you do in your free time. I'm in kind of a rush, so would you mind? Oh no, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. Uh, you know what? Why don't you let me handle this for you? I, uh, kinda know my way around these things pretty well. Yeah, there we are. Boy, that takes me back. Better days, I can tell you that much. Listen, man, I didn't know that you were a druggie, and I didn't need to know. You could have just kept that to yourself, given me the sample. We all could have moved on from there. So I'm going to get a sample and go straight back. Last time I tried to gather a bunch of them, and it probably wasn't a great idea. So we're just going to keep going one at a time. Now we have Thomas. No, uh, Trevor. I can't remember any but Sean, that's who it was. All the names just kind of mesh together. So, nothing fishy going on here. Anybody in here? Oh, oh, uh, hello, you. What's your name, Relax, Uma? Uma? It's me, Dean. I'm human. Listen, I need something from you. I need to take a sample of your blood so we can run it under the microscope and make sure you're really you. I should probably mention that this is a different save file because the game doesn't have a save state and I'm playing it days later, so we don't know if it's Uma. It was Uma last time. I don't trust Uma because she doesn't have a voice. I was gonna say face. She's definitely got a face. A, like a, a blood test? Like my vision? The ones about the microscope? Yeah, just like that. I only need a little. Will you comply? Or are you gonna make me take it from you? I suppose you have every right if you want to figure out who's the monster. Okay, make it quick. I suck at needles, but I'm willing to give in to whatever it takes to figure this out. Thanks. We should know the results soon. I think it'd be best if you just stay here until we know for sure, for everyone's safety. 
Okay. So let's go test Uma because I'm definitely suspicious of her. There's so many people. And the worst part is I'm going to walk in. She's going to be standing right there at the door and then instantly jump on me. So it's also kind of luck related, which is a little disappointing. Okay. Uma. Uma is clean. Okay. Wouldn't it make more sense for us to... Wait a minute, are you the last person? I was gonna say, wouldn't it make more sense if we go to one person, test them, okay, it's not them, then we let them in the lab so that we have everybody in the lab together and we can whittle it down? Now, if this is the bad man, the shape-shifting butthole worm with his cold, dead eyes, then I'm gonna shoot him, he's gonna get away and go get one of the people that I've already tested. I think this is the last person alive, so I'm gonna assume it's you. Oh, it was! Ah, die! Die! All the bullets! I'm out! No! 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 Okay. Well, it was Steve. And we got five bullets out of that, so... Good. Um... I think I should go mention that to the people in the lab. Uh, you see, the powers of deduction, if it got away, then we would all be in the lab right now and everybody would be fine, but no, now it's gonna go crawl up Uma's butt and she's not gonna have a voice to cry out with, so it's just unacceptable. This is not good. Not good at all. We're, we're dumb scientists, I'm not gonna lie. I also kinda need more ammo. Okay, don't. Oh, no, 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 damn it! I needed the ammo! What are the odds that it was him? Oh. You have been overcome by the shapeshifter. Click anywhere to return to the latest checkpoint. Oh, there's checkpoints? I didn't even remember that last time. So, did the fact that I shot the alien once mean that I got a checkpoint? Or do I need to do that all over again? Well, I have 12 bullets, so is Steve in here? No? No Steve. So, I don't know where I am right now. Maybe he just got away and it decided to restart me with a little bit of ammo? Does that mean that we know it's Potato Head Thomas or that it, it it's somebody else? It could be random. Do we want to roll the dice and see if it is? I'm, I'm kind of curious. So if we go in here again... Thomas? Thomas, are you an alien? You can talk to Thomas. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think that might be a bad thing. Guys, what's going on? Uh, guys, the microscope is gone. What? What happened to the microscope? What? This isn't good! Isabel, what the hell happened to the microscope? How are we supposed to figure out the shapeshifter's identity now? Calm down. There must be another way. The creature has a high tolerance for extreme temperatures. If you were to be able to manipulate the air conditioning units, maybe you could get the temperature low enough to trigger a reaction. Great. What kind of reaction? Would cold temperature force this thing to reveal itself? I wouldn't say that. I was thinking maybe more along the lines of condensation. A human's breath becomes visible in low temperatures due to the air we exhale being warmed by our bodies. The creatures are cold-blooded, so... So anybody whose breath I can't see in cold temperatures is probably the creature in disguise. So now I can turn on the air conditioning, but I need to somehow screw with the system. I think there was some kind of air conditioning, like, master unit in the control room? So if I can go back there and maybe screw around with that first, or maybe I just need to turn on the air conditioning. I'm not totally sure. We're gonna go down there first. I'd rather play it safe than sorry. It's like my mom always said, better to play it safe than sorry when it comes to alien butthole shapeshifters. I've never forgotten that advice. So I think this thing, no, this is just here. This isn't important. Great. Well, I guess we're just gonna try the old air conditioner, right? Turn you on. Anybody in here? Anybody want to come show me their breath? Hello? Hello? Ooh. Nobody? Okay, we're good in here. I'm gonna leave that on. I turned them all on in the last playthrough because I felt like it. Now they're all off because I just sped through it to get back to where we were. So, oh, uh, no. Uma. Uma, can I trust you? Okay, I'm gonna turn that on, I'm gonna go over here. 
Now, we're going to wait for Uma to walk past the air conditioner. And if we can't see her breath, I'm going to shoot her in the face. Do you have a... Do you, oh, Uma. Uma, I don't see your breath. Uma, ah! No, no, I wasn't sure. I couldn't pull the trigger. Damn it. Oh, I hate this thing. She didn't attack me at first. I just assumed that if I walk in and she's an alien, she's not gonna let me go turn on the air conditioning, but apparently I'm wrong about that. So, we're over there. No, Uma, you go over there. Uh, ooh, ooh, I can turn this on and then, no, no, I need to, I need to turn it on and then I'm gonna go over here. So if I need to, I can escape. Do you have breath? You don't have breath. What? Starting to see a bit of an issue with the air conditioning theory. Maybe I should go talk to the head honchos once again, the brains of the operation, because I just lit up Uma for no reason. This is getting difficult. I only have seven bullets. I don't know if I can kill this thing. Uh, guys, we have a problem. Uma uh, got shot by the alien. Isabel, what the hell happened to the microscope? How are we supposed to figure out the shapeshifter's identity now? I needed to go talk to them again. The checkpoint was pre- Okay, sorry, Uma. Let's just rewind. Okay, we've gone through that dialogue. The air conditioning should now work. So, if I go in here... Okay, we're just gonna click this on. I don't know if they need to walk past the air conditioner. Or just be in the room. I... He's gonna, okay, hold on. I'm just gonna go outside and maybe he'll he'll walk past and then I can go back inside. Oh, 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 can't see. This is, see what I mean? This is tricky. How am I supposed to, oh, okay. You know what, Thomas, you're we probably no clear. We have a working microscope and the creature is still running among the crew. What? What happened to it? No idea. I left to try to kill it after I gathered the blood samples, but when I returned, it was destroyed. No one is to be trusted from this point. That's a good point. What did happen to the microscope? Did they say that it broke in and destroyed it or something? Because that doesn't really make any sense. Fishy. Oh, that's heavy. Seems like we're up Shit's Creek, all right. How long until the helicopter gets here? Don't know that either. The specialists have a procedure for this kind of thing, but it won't really matter if we're all slaughtered before they get here. Yeah, because then you'd have done their job for them. Thomas is clear. I'm gonna say that Thomas is not an alien, right? Ah, oh, no, 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 son of a- Guys, I'm gonna need a little bit more than air conditioner breath. I have the air conditioner turned on in here and you're walking right past it. So should I shoot you in the back of the head? Nope. How about you? Still no dice. Oh, potato headed Thomas. Hey there, buddy. How about I just shoot you? Okay. He was the alien again. And it's gone. Did I just win? I mean, it made a lot of dying noises. Oh, military! Uh, I can't move or do anything. Hey, military! What? What's happening right now? I'm really confused. I There's, there's no controls. Do I have a shoot at them? No? Hello? Oh. Wow, that was a top-notch ending cinema. Oh, okay, there we go. They actually did come to rescue us. I can oh. Oh, that's- No news yet on just how widespread infection has become, but we have been told here at Channel 12 that attacks have spread rapidly. Violence erupted across the downtown area. That's so really interesting. Because I know that they were working on a sequel from Astro Creep to... Oh, what was the name of that game? Astro Creep Invasion. That's what it was. I actually looked into it because they were making a sequel to Astro Creep and it was like widespread invasion pretty much. You know, I remember aliens in grandma's heads walking down the road and infecting people on park benches and it was just everywhere like they were alluding to in the outro credits just now. So this was kind of like an in-between for those two games. Really cool. Also, I'm apparently nearly worthless because only myself and the ginger survived. It might have been because I went on a bit of a killing spree there at the end, 
expecting to restart and not actually kill the shapeshifter. But you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Aqua Creep, guys. I got killed a whole bunch, as well as the group, but in the end we succeeded, and that's all that really matters. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Jesus!